What's going on guys? Today I've got the one week later for the Xiaomi Poco X3 NFC. Now I've really enjoyed using this phone. I think it looks absolutely incredible and I think this phone is a really big shake for the phone market in general as it has an incredible camera, an incredible processor, a massive battery and that humongous screen and not to mention the awesome Snapdragon chipset. So this phone in general is an absolute blowout of the part deal breaker for all you gamers out there because it is basically just gaming orientated and I say that with the most seriousness because this phone is clearly a gaming phone. Now some of the things which make me say that is the ginormous battery, the Snapdragon 732G processor and that 120 hertz refresh rate LCD display. All three are typical things that people who are interested in mobile games Gaming are going to be interested in and in my personal opinion games have been incredible on this device now I've played a lot of Call of Duty Mobile on this and I think that it has been brilliant and although I am terrible at the game I do think that it has helped me get a few more wins maybe. Now some of the cool features that I didn't necessarily mention in the first unboxing of this is the fact that this has IP53 splash resistance also so you can splash it a little bit now I wouldn't take this phone swimming with you but it can take a little bit of wear and tear there and there that most phones won't be able to withstand. I would still advise though you put a case on it. And that is only because this phone is absolutely colossal. I mean, most phones nowadays are getting bigger and bigger, obviously, but this phone really is a ginormous unit now. Barely fits between my hands there, and you can see that it is absolutely humongous. Also, in terms of wear and tear, this is covered in Gorilla Glass 5, so it should be okay, and it does also cover come, as most Android devices come nowadays, pre-installed with that screen protector. So you should be all right in terms of a few drops here and there. Again, chuck your case on just to be safe, but it should be okay. And it does run on Android 10 MIUI 12, so it is going to be an extremely smooth experience overall, and the phone has been very, very smooth. Now, one of my main criticisms in the last video was the fact that the Xiaomi's now come pre-installed with apps and certain ads way that have become more more and more unskippable and basically a little bit irritating and now whilst I have found that the ads are still prominent and the fact that the games are pre-installed on the device is a little bit annoying it hasn't been too intrusive on my overall usage of this phone and it is fairly easy to disable or remove it's just a little bit annoying that it is already there however it is understandable when you think that this phone is a lot cheaper than every other phone on the market for this spec and maybe that's perhaps why it comes pre-installed with apps because Otherwise, we might not be seeing it at that price overall. Now, another thing that I was surprised to hear was this surprisingly small RAM for a gaming phone. I mean, it's it's still a massive amount of RAM. However, most gaming phones now come with 8 gig of RAM, whereas this Xiaomi is opted for 6. Now, that being said, I have seen no problems with this device in overall and throughout my usage. So RAM clearly isn't really an issue there. And you might see that later on when we do a bit of gameplay and a Antutu test. Moving on. I haven't put the camera to much use as I would have liked to. However, it is incredible in a few of the shots I have taken. As I said, you've got that massive 64 megapixel camera on the rear there and a 20 megapixel selfie camera. And although the selfie camera is placed in my not most preferable position of a phone, it still does a great job as a camera and isn't, again, too intrusive. And that is mainly down to the ginormous display on this device. As I said, with a battery this big, 5,160 mAh to be exact, Exact. It should take a long time to charge, but that doesn't really seem to be the case with this Xiaomi Poco X3 because of that 33 watt fast charger. Now you can charge to 100% in 65 minutes as advertised, and I have noticed that to basically be true because a few times I have forgotten to charge this in the morning, and I managed to chuck it on one of the fast chargers that we have laying around, and it has booted this phone up in battery fairly quickly. So that 33 watt charger should be pretty good for you and should charge you up pretty quickly. Something again that I didn't notice when I first began using this, I didn't notice it too much, I knew it was there. However, I have been putting the side-mounted fingerprint scanner to a bit more use and it is very snappy and very quick. So that's good to note that the side-mounted fingerprint scanner is a high quality one. Other than that, some of my other compliments of this phone is the design overall. I think it looks great and I think it really stands out in the crowd. I also believe that the size of the phone is perfect for your everyday usage. It's not too big, 
However, it is big enough when I want to stream some videos or if I want to play some games that it is a good size for that. Also, the display is fairly bright, even though it is that LCD display. Now, there have been criticisms in the past of LCD displays saying that they are not bright enough. However, I can kind of opt for that because of the 120 hertz refresh rate, which is incredible in scrolling. And although a lot of mobile games are not optimized for 120 hertz, it still is noticeable when you compare it to a phone with 60 hertz refresh rate. But that's it for the stats. We're gonna move on to a little bit of gaming now, just so you can see this phone in action. So as I said, we're gonna quickly jump onto a little bit of Call of Duty, as this is my game of choice. Now, I'm not gonna use the account I was previously using. I'll use our ePhones one here. So there you go guys, as you can see, extremely smooth at gaming. As I said, I'm not too good at that, especially the sniping aspect, I'm terrible at that. But the gaming overall is extremely smooth and something to note at Xiaomi have included this new sort of speaker that goes underneath here and vibrates the whole back of this and basically turns the under bit of here into a speaker itself. And you can really feel that when you're gaming and it does have a sort of haptic feedback type thing whereby when the game is playing sound, you can sort of feel the vibrations on the back there, but it does make it extremely clear. Anyway, guys, now we're going to move on to the Antutu benchmark. Now, we have done one of these already. But we're going to move on to that right now, and we'll do one right here for you. So in Antutu, there are a few different variations of the different sort of tests. And if you guys would like to see some more different tests, such as LCD test here, the multi-touch test, color bar test, or grayscale or controllable error test, we'd be more than happy to do them in the future. Just let us know. But for now, we're just going to hit that test button there and we'll go straight into it for you. So there you go, guys. There's a bit more of the information there for you. You can see here that the Poco X3 NFC scored 281. 1,374 with 100,975 in CPU, 77,653 in GPU, 50,864 in memory, and 51,882 in UX. Now, there is a little bit more information if you open these things here, and I'll slowly scroll through them here, although this is a good time to show off that 120 hertz refresh rate with the scroll speed, but you should see a little bit of information there as I scroll through, and you can see all the specs that I outlined earlier, you've got a 6.67 inch display, 20 megapixel selfie camera, 64 megapixel rear camera, 5,160 mAh battery. And as I said, there's all these other tests here. So you can do sort of battery tests, speed download and upload tests, and a stress test also. So if that's something you guys wanna see, make sure you let us know in the comments and we can do a video even dedicated just to and two, two different types of tests if that's something you guys want to see. So yeah, please let us know what you would like to see in the future as we you know we're still learning and we just wanna know what you guys want to see from us. Thank you guys very much for watching my one week review. Overall, I'd give this Xiaomi a 10 out of 10 if I was purely based on gaming. However, I'm more of an everyday use type of phone so for an everyday use phone it is still going to do a very good job however it's clearly geared towards gaming so therefore if i was going to go and say i was going to use this for an everyday phone i'd probably put this at a solid 8 out of 10 and that's mainly because it is a bit big the charging isn't the quickest charging, although it is very fast, and I don't like the placement of the selfie camera personally. It's not a big deal for everyone, but in my personal opinion, I don't like those punch hole cameras in the middle of the display. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. As I said, the phone's been absolutely incredible, and you can see that by the scores there. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you consider subscribing as we do videos like this multiple times a week, so make sure you stay tuned for that. If you like the video, make sure to hit that like button. If you've got any questions whatsoever, leave them in the comments below and be sure to get back to you. Thanks for watching guys. This has been the Poco X3 NFC review and I hope to see you in the next video.